Hey guys, it's Rachel from Hope Corner Farm. By day, I'm a home ec teacher who teaches hundreds of students how to crochet, quilt, sew, and cook. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to complete the waffle stitch and crochet. The waffle stitch and crochet is a lovely textured crochet stitch that people use for things like blankets, pillows, scarves, whatever you wanna add some fun textural details to. The reason it's called the waffle stitch is it looks like little squares, just like you would get off of a waffle on a waffle maker. And it's pretty easy to complete this stitch. You need to know how to chain, you need to know how to double crochet, and you need to know how to front post double crochet. If you don't know how to do those stitches, I've got links to videos below that take those a lot slower so you can learn those stitches and then come conquer the waffle stitch. If you're ready to take on the waffle stitch, let's grab a hook and some yarn and we'll get crocheting. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notifications of when I post new videos, and don't forget to give me some feedback on this video. Give me a like or a comment. Let me know what I did well or things that I could improve upon. So for the waffle stitch and crochet, there are a couple of different ways that you could start this. You could start by chaining and then doing a row of double crochets. If you choose this option, you need to chain multiples of three plus two, and that's how I'm gonna start this tutorial. You could also choose to use a foundation double crochet stitch. And if you choose that option, you just need to make sure that whatever you foundation double crochet, that you have multiples of three. So let's say you wanted to choose the foundation double crochet to start. You could start with a multiple of three, maybe six, nine, 12, 15, etc. But it needs to be in multiples of three. I'm gonna show you how to chain and then do a row of double crochets to start. So to begin, I'm gonna do a multiple of three. So I'm gonna do my multiple of three as 12, because 12 is a multiple of three. And then I'm also gonna add two to chain. So I'm actually gonna end up chaining 14. Now, if you need to see how to chain in slower, more detailed movements, or if you wanna learn how to foundation double crochet, check out the link to the videos below and they'll take those stitches way slower and in more details. So I'm gonna begin by chaining 14. So here's one. 13 and 14. So again, 14 is a multiple of three plus two. My multiple of three is 12 plus two. Now we're ready for row one. For row one, we're gonna begin by placing a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So if you pull your chain out tight, you can see all these different Vs and each V counts as one chain. So we're gonna go one, two, Three. So this is the chain that I'm going to go into. So I like to put my thumb and my index or my middle finger and pinch right there. So now I'm going to place a double crochet in this third chain from the hook. So I'm going to yarn over, insert into the chain, yarn over, pull through the chain. Now I've got three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more to complete a foundation or to complete a double crochet. Now I'm going to place one double crochet stitch in each chain across. So I'm gonna keep placing double crochets in each chain. Now I like to, when I'm working into a chain, I like to put two legs of that chain on top and one leg on the bottom. So each chain has three strands or legs as I like to call them. So I like to insert my hook right here and get two on top and one on the bottom. Total personal preference, do whatever works for you. Some people like to put one leg on top and two on bottom. Some like to work into the back bump, so into the back leg or the middle leg. Really, it's what works best for you. Working with two legs on top, one on bottom, works best for me. So I'm gonna keep on double crocheting across here to complete this row. So there is my completed row one. So I have double crocheted all the way across. If you need to see how to double crochet in slower, more detailed movements, I'll include a link to a video for that below as well. One thing to note, you should have 12 double crochets now across this row. We're gonna kind of ignore those first chains that we skipped. They're gonna kind of just fade into the piece. So if you look at the top of this row and count each V, each V counts as one stitch. So there are 12 stitches across the top here. So one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that brings our multiples of three. So again, if you wanted a stitch this same, or a start the same size using a foundation double crochet, you would foundation, foundation double crochet 12 times. Now we're ready for row two. So for row two, we're gonna begin by chaining three. So here's one, two, and three. And then we're gonna take and we're gonna turn our work. Now we're ready to start into row two. So for row two, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna skip over this and we're gonna go around this post. We're gonna front post double crochet around this spot right here. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook on this side, come around the back side of that post and pop up. Yarn over, pull through. Now there's three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And that completes a front post double crochet. Same deal as before. If you need to see how to front post double crochet and slower, more detailed movements, I'll include a link for that below. Now in the next two stitches, we're gonna place a double crochet in each. So into the top of this stitch, so right here, we're gonna go one double crochet and then two double crochets. Around this next post, we're gonna front post double crochet. So we're gonna repeat a front post double crochet, followed by two double crochets, till we get close to the end here, and then at the end we do something just a hair different. So front post double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet, and then double crochet. And then we're gonna front post double crochet around this right here. And then in the very last stitch right here, because again, I said we're gonna ignore this chain, those chains that we skipped, we're gonna place a double crochet right here in the top of this space right here. We're gonna go double crochet. And that completes row two. So this is what row two looks like after we're completed. Now we're ready for row three. So we're gonna begin by chaining three. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna turn. So each chain three to start the row actually is gonna count as a double crochet. So we're gonna skip over this first stitch and we're gonna actually work into the second stitch right here. So we're skipping that, we're going right there. Now we're gonna place a double crochet into this stitch. And we're gonna front post double crochet around the next one. Then front post double crochet again. And that's how we're gonna repeat. We're gonna go double crochet, followed by two front post double crochets. And we're gonna repeat that across until we get close to the end. So our double crochets are actually going on top of the front post double crochet from the previous row. And our two front post double crochets are going around the regular double crochets from the previous row. So just so you can see the placement, that really helps the waffles to pop when we get to the other side. So I'll show you what that looks like. And then we're gonna end our row by placing a double crochet here. So we're basically ending the row with two double crochets. So there's one. And then our final double crochet is gonna go into the last chain of that chain three that we started with. So we're going right here into this. So we're gonna yarn over, go into this space right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is row three of the waffle stitch. Now we're on to row four. And from this point on, however long you're doing your waffle stitch for, you're gonna keep repeating row two followed by row three. So this is what we call a two row repeat stitch. So row four would be a repeat of row two. So we do that by chaining three. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna turn. And then just like row two started, we're gonna begin by placing a front post double crochet around this stitch right here. We're gonna follow it with a regular double crochet in the next, and one more regular crochet, regular double crochet. We're gonna front post double crochet, followed by a regular double crochet, another regular double crochet. So again, it's 
front post double crochet, two double crochets all the way across this row until we get to the last couple of stitches. Front post, regular, and regular. We're going to do our last front post right here. And then our last regular double crochet is going to go into the top of the chain three from the previous row. So one, two, three. So we're going right into this space right here. So you can see your chain three. So our, our last double crochet is going to get worked into this stitch right here. So we yarn over, insert it into that chain. So that's what it'll look like. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you can see really how our waffles are really starting to pop here in this stitch now. If we were to keep going, again, this would be a repeat of row three now. Row five would be a, so each of your even numbered rows would be a repeat of row two. Each of your odd numbered rows would be a repeat of row three as you continue to go up and up and up for however long your project works. If you were doing a blanket with a waffle stitch, you'd have multiple rows. So you would just have to keep in mind that odd rows are repeat row three, even rows are a repeat of row two. So we're onto an odd row, so we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to turn. So then what we're going to do here is we are going to place a regular double crochet into this stitch. So right here on the top of this stitch, so we're skipping that, we're going here. So again, this is what it looks like. We're going to go here into this space, place a regular double crochet. Then we're going to front post double crochet front post double crochet, regular double crochet into the top of this space right here, front post, front post, regular, front post, front post, then a regular double crochet here, and then one last regular double crochet in the top of the chain three. So if you pull that tight, you can see there, we're gonna go right here into this space. So yarn over right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then that's the back side of the waffle stitch. And you would just keep repeating row two and row three for each remaining row as long as your project calls for. And if you get to this side, you can really see how those waffles are starting to pop out. It gives such a great texture. That's why people love using this for blankets because it just makes such fun texture for your crochet projects. And that's the waffle stitch and crochet, guys. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to give me some feedback on this video. Give me a like or a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a blessed day.